So let's keep going with uh, section 3.2, models of linear functions and linear data. Okay. I'm just trying to find my pen. Where did I put it? There it is. So um, from the same data, okay, I'll just flip back to baseball data. So hopefully we have it, come on copied down or something from earlier examples, but we're still using this data right here. Okay, so I'll pause just to copy down in case you didn't copy it down earlier or you lost that piece of paper or whatever. Okay, so using the same data, can you use a graphing utility, and again, the book uses TI-84s, to find what's called the line of best fit and then plot that and interpret the slope? Then once I have this line of best fit, can you predict the number of runs a team will score if their on-base percentage is 32.2%? So lines of best fit, here's the data again, um, vary from calculator to calculator or computer software to computer software, but it's a, a pretty big deal. It's a very common thing you wanna be able to do. If I have a bunch of data, can I put a line that fits it as best as possible? How to find what that line is? It's actually not so bad. Um, it's a calculus problem, it's also a statistics problem. So it's called linear regression. Whatever program or calculator you're using, you're looking for something that could plausibly represent something called linear regression. Uh, regression means finding the best fit and we're trying to do it with a linear function. So we're doing a linear regression, okay? Usually you'll have to then plug in a table of data. On the calculator, it may just use what's stored as a table of data. So, the TI-84, given that chart of data, if input correctly, would tell you, why is AX plus B? The book likes to use M for slope. I guess TI-84s use A, which is also pretty common. So it gives you A should be this, B should be that. Then there are these two values here, R squared and R, which are um, statistical measurements. Okay, not a big deal for us. Okay. But A is the slope of the line and B is the intercept. So, <clears throat> Now that we know a and b, we can make this function, ax plus b. Notice that b is negative, that's fine. And here is it plotted, and yeah, it looks like it fits it about as well as anything could. The slope is 57.35, which tells you every time you increase on base percentage by 1%, you should be able to increase your run scored by 57.35, more or less. And this isn't gonna be like hard and fast in the real world, but it does represent an average. And the last part said, if a team gets on 33.2% of the time, how many runs do you expect them to score? And that's just a matter of plugging that in and getting out 726 runs. Now, what if I had said, what should an on base percentage be in order for a team to score 750 runs? Well, if I say what percentage on base to score 750, I would say, well, I want y to equal 750. So I'd say 750 is equal to 57.3, not 5 point, sorry, 57.35x minus 1120.75, and now I would solve for x. Okay, so that's the end of section uh, 3.2. This video was pretty short. It just felt a little long to put the whole section in one video. But uh, go ahead and come on back for section 3.3. .3.